Hello and welcome back to this museum where I actually haven't been for a while and since I last was there's a bicycle that's appeared but yeah. I think we'll come back to that one shortly because of what's also appeared are some new Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2s which as you can see are K1 marked which means these are for a Ferrari so Brad do you want to guess what car these are going on? Yeah not a Ferrari. They're not they're indeed for the GT500 now this has done many many miles it's done a gumball as the livery obviously shows and Tim's quite hooligan with this car at times, and as a result, the rear tyres aren't in the best of shape. So, we've got some new ones here, and given that this car isn't sold here in the UK, well, we've had to go for Ferrari marked ones, but they also have this lovely foam liner, which will uh, reduce a bit of tyre on road noise, yeah. which you normally see in something like a Rolls Royce. So I've never actually seen that before, so. Yeah, so I mean, we're bringing a bit of class to the Mustang. On top of that, we've got some cars missing. So we do. over my shoulder, there should be a C63 AMG Black Series, which has been off for its annual service. And as Tim mentioned in, I think the last video, there's an SF90 that's been at the hospital, which they phoned me and said, Tom, it's ready to be discharged. Do you want to come and get it? So I think the answer is naturally yes. So we're having a bit of a V8 day. V8, I was gonna say V8, but C63 and the Ooh. SF90, all V8s. All v 8 However, we're pushing on a little bit into the afternoon, which means rush hour's coming soon. We've yeah. got dealerships that yeah. We'll shut at some point today. Yes. So we probably have to get cracking on. But we first do. Thing's it's going to be a challenge getting these into here. And can I just point something out? Sorry, I know we do need to get on the road, but you've just pointed out we have three V8s, but we have NA, turbo hybrid, and supercharged. We do. We have That's every cool. form of aspiration going on as well today. So somewhere, I have a key on me. I think our first challenge is going to be to see if we can fit these behind the front seats, but also cold start. How good is that noise? Is this still available in the shop? Do we plug this? What is it? T-shirt. Then let's plug it right now. <laughs> so if you haven't already, and if it is still available for sale, do go and get your GT500 shirt from the Cheers by Shmi 150 shop now. I think it's quite safe to say that they're not, not, they're not gonna fit in the boot. I could be wrong. I agree. I could be wrong. Oops. Well, Tim, no, do you know what? Tim did have a lot of stuff in here and still has a lot of stuff in here. Yeah, apparently. we're not getting a tire in there though. Is this gonna work? <laughs> Mm. Never mind. <laughs> I feel, no. I think we know the answer to that. Quite no, quickly. so the wheel would fit because obviously it's a smaller diameter than this. <laughs> this isn't looking promising, is it? And I really want to come in the Mustang. I don't want to follow you in the, no. in the Skoda. I mean, I feel like it will go, but there's just going to be about that much room either side between the seat and the pillar. And I, I don't want to damage the car, obviously. Sorry, um, Tim. Oh, perfect. Oh. It's a bit of a squeeze, but it fits. Right, but the question okay. is, can we fit two? Have we done it? I think we might have. What's this? We've also found a Shmi 150 gumball sticker. Oh, nice, I want that, I'm gonna have that. Okay, right, now, get that one back. All right, no, hang on, Maybe that's not gonna to work. Maybe a little bit of leg room, but that's fine. We will. Oh, look at that, that was perfectly judged. So we fitted two very, very large 20 inch tires in the back but of the now, for, for comedic purposes, let me grab this off you. Let's see oh, yeah. how much legroom are you going to have in so, there. So uh, maybe I can go back one more click, but I don't think this is actually that. I, I wouldn't if I was That's you. That's not that bad. That's Look, almost touching. I've got long legs. I would prefer to have a little bit more. But, but this isn't that bad. The beauty of it is we only need to do this on the way up there. We do. Unless on the Tim, way back. Well, unless Tim wants to keep the tyres, which I don't think he does. So Brad's just come up with an idea about what he wants to do with this sticker, which is put it somewhere amongst the delivery on the GT500. Yeah, because it's got stickers obviously from all different teams. We've got Ferrari and obviously we've got like Team Skookum and things, yep. but I don't think Tim's actually got his own sticker anywhere on the car. I don't think he does, but this has triggered an idea in me. We're going to stick this on the car now, but we're not going to show you guys where, because then Tim would also see where when he watches the video. So Tim, your challenge at some point in a video when you're back from the USA oh. is to find this sticker on the GT500, in the GT500, under the GT500, somewhere on the GT500. That's your challenge. We're out on the road in the GT500, and I guess we can quickly get your first impressions. And there's a smile. There is. Uh, first impression, noisy. Yes. Likes to light up the rear wheels. Yes. Um, so we pulled out onto our roads, which were immediately sort of rain-soaked, and it, 
there's no point trying to do anything. So all I've really done is fight traction and now cruise around the M25. But do you know what? At cruising around the M25, it's comfortable, it's quite quiet. I've got plenty of leg room. I'm, the, the driving position, the seating position is absolutely lovely. It's all right for some leg room. <laughs> <laughs> um, so far, first impressions, just as a car, it's quite good. I quite like this. What it's like to actually give it some beans, I can't, I can't say just yet. Um, I guess we'll have to wait till the new tyres are on and got them scrubbed in a little bit and then we can have a little bit of a play or maybe we can scrub them in early. Isn't there a burnout mode in this? Oh, line lock. Line really lock, good. that's yeah. the one. So um, mm. we're not going to do that team, I promise. Uh, but yeah, making good progress towards JZM and um, yeah, I guess what we can do for now though is go down a couple of gears. It does sound good. <laughs> it does sound very, very good. Like, there's not many other cars you can stay within legal speed and get that kind of noise out of them, but this... We are arriving at JZM. We're greeted by a Porsche, quite typically. That's what they specialize in. Gorgeous 997 Turbo by the looks of it. Yeah, very nice. We're nice. greeted by an old Carrera 4 and an Abarth. Which is what I'm most excited about being here What's as well. Abarth? No, not, o no, <laughs> no. not only do we get to have new tyres fitted on GT500, we get to go and see Porsches and probably some of the Whatever nicest examples there. Yeah. out there. Yeah, so I think we'll just go and park this up here. Let's head on inside and uh, say hello to the guys and see what's next. Now, Whilst the guys are next door changing the tyres on the GT500, we thought we'd... Hello, Siri. We thought we'd bring you into Porsche heaven and have a quick look around, but we're gonna start with something that isn't a Porsche. Should because, we go to the far end? Yeah, let's head down here. There's something that I certainly wasn't expecting to see here, and I don't think you were either. No, and that is this, a 1966 Ford Mustang that's just gone through a full restoration, has actually been at the guys with Alan Mann have 351 Windsor here. If you, if you come and have a look inside, Brad. You come your side, actually. Yeah. You've got a window we've got, open. We've got a yeah. window open. We've got the Tremec 5 speed that's been put in here as well with the Cobra seats. I mean. That is lovely. And what a colour combo with as the well. the blue stripe. It's, I'm glad you said it literally the same time as I did. That is, it's as good as it gets, right? Yeah. But and then we can go on to Porsches. What? Porsche heaven. For a second, we've got the GT2 RS Club Sport, which I think we said was here last time we visited. I think it was. It looks slightly different, actually. Now it's got the pink stickers on it, which is, Maybe really a rebrand. Cool. Ah, we match. Oh, nice. <laughs> so this one clearly is for me to take home. Um, here we have yeah. the 911 Targa 4S Heritage Edition. This is an incredibly rare car. I can't remember how many of these were made, but not very many at all. And this has got quite a cool few details on it, such as the roundel on the side. You've got the gold badging all around as well. Yeah. And I don't know if you'll be able to see that, Brad. You've got the heritage badge just oh, yes. on the engine you cover do. there as well and the gold Carrera 4S badging on the back, which you'll, have to, you'll back. have to take my word for. We need to point out this because the bike fans will kill us if we ignore it. Ducati we, we, we should. This is a V4 SP. This is a V4 SP, as you can see here. This is as close as you can get to a MotoGP bike with number plates, basically. This and the BMW M1000 RR. Death on two wheels if you let me near them. Yeah. So, 458 Italia. 458 Italia. Here we have a lovely old school 911S, which is, yeah, you, you can't gotta, beat gotta the love good, the classic. You can't beat the good classic. And over this way, actually, lovely Cayman GC4 in a fairly similar spec to Tim's. Obviously this is in Jensen yeah. Blue, not in a purple that we had obviously wrapped at dub, but it's got the orange gold wheels. But they're both very dark metallic-y colors on the similar kind of end of the color spectrum, I think it's fair to say. Yeah, this um, for me is one of my favorites. I love ultraviolet GC3 RS. This looks really, really good. Let's not worry how it looks. Look at how they've parked it. Oh, that's precision. That is brave, but fair play to the guys here. Gorgeous Guards Red 997.2 GT3. Have to love one of those. Split camper, split screen. Uh, okay. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to see that here, but you know what? On theme, related. Very clean. Another Ducati just pointed out. There is another V4 Panigale over the other side as well. There is indeed. This is. Where do we go from here? Got a little fridge because and everything. There is, there is so much stuff. GT3 RS, GT3 RS. GT3 RS. Oh, GT3 whoa, 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 whoa. GT3 Touring. GT3 Touring, okay, with the PCCBs, houndstooth interior, of course, the manual. 
And do you know what? It actually looks stunning in black. I think it's safe to say no one's really fans of black cars at this museum, but wow. And wow. Because with the orange accents, I think this looks absolutely stunning. You were saying this is one of your like favourite colour combos that Porsche has I, I genuinely think it is. The 997.1 in this. This or the... Oh, I can't remember the official name. The Kermit Green with the black stripes on it as well. Yes. Either way, I think yep. works really, really well. 996 GT3 RS, arguably what started it all. Let's cut through here. A couple more Targas. Got Turbo. Yep, we do. We do. And then I think we're going to come to this now. Yep. This lovely blue with a sort of rose goldy, silvery accents, wheels and, and wing mirrors, GC3 RS. This is stunning. Is it safe to say this is probably our favourite here today? I think it is. We walked in and the first thing we saw was this. Yes. Well, it, it, it actually wasn't out. the first thing we saw because we'll quickly show you that on our way back over to the next door. True. But this is just gorgeous. It is. It's the first car we saw in the showroom and yeah, it really stands out. I think for me, 997 was peak 911. It's still quite small, quite narrow bodied. You can really enjoy it out on the roads. They're just getting bigger and bigger these days. But this, yeah, something really special about this with the 3.8. <sighs> one day, one day maybe we can convince him to one of these and join yeah. this museum. We'll try, we'll try. We'll try. So I guess we should probably head back over next door and go and get an update on the wheel. But before we do, we should quickly pop behind us and show one thing straight through the door. Have a this. look at the Kermit Beast over there. Yeah, we'll go and show that. Then we'll go next door and we'll have an update on the wheel tire change thing that we're doing. And next then door. head back towards the museum, get that dropped off and hopefully pick a couple more cars up. As you can probably tell, everyone's feeling quite festive here at JZM. We've got Christmas trees out and then we have a GT3 RS MR, like you said, Kermit. Yeah. Wow. That's pretty wow, extreme. Wow, wow. And even like the interior, green and the inserts for the seats. It's just, it's just crazy Seat when you belts. see, when you see a car running around with aero discs on the wheels, you know it's a bit serious. And the, the wing. Manti stickers. The full, the full wing as well. And of course, GT3 RS M. Ah, oh. So we're here inside the workshop at JZM. We have the old tyres already off. The guys have been flying whilst we've yeah. been walking around the It turns the out we took too long sort of drooling over all the fancy stuff next We did, door. and we've missed showing you the fitment of the tyre, unfortunately, but we do have the balancing just going on here. And the reason, we should probably highlight why have we come to JZM, a Porsche specialist, with a Mustang. It's because a quite a noisy train in the background. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Yeah, we'll Maybe fine, we I wait think. till that. No, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Okay, so the reason we're down here at JZM is the guys have recently invested in a load of new tyre fitting equipment, state of the art, to enable them to work on wheels like this, the carbon wheels and the Porsche magnesium wheels, which obviously are incredibly delicate, very easy to damage, and very costly if they need replacement. So with something like this, you wanna make sure you bring it to someone that has the right equipment and that knows what they're doing with it. And this is why we are here. So. If you guys have any titanium, magnesium, carbon wheels, if you have a Megane Trophy R, and you're not sure where to take them, speak to the guys at JZM. They'll be more than happy to help you. It isn't just Porsche they work on. Well, there you are. The new Cup 2 K1 fitment with the acoustic insulation. Yeah, which well, the old ones didn't have, so no. it'll be interesting to see if we notice any kind of difference. Maybe we do, maybe we don't. Yeah, because you know, it wasn't that noisy on the way over, if we're honest. No, but. it was not that bad. Luckily this thing's loud enough, so you can hear it over the train that's just passed in the background, but we'll let the guys get this outside, pop it out the front for a thumbnail, and then we need to get back to the museum ASAP, jump into the RS, and head over to Mercedes or Ferrari. We don't know which one's first, but we have to get over there ASAP so we don't miss them closing. A few inches later. So it's now night time. Good night. I can't see you. Well, just about. There we go. Better? Yeah, that's better. Time um, has flown by. Yeah, it, it's dark. And it, it's actually not night time, I should probably point out. It's 4.30 in the afternoon, but welcome to winter. What a joke, right? So I guess we should update with where we're at. Mustang's now back in the barn, thrown inside. We got back and we were like, we're running out of time to do everything else we... That, <laughs> that was weird. We're running out of time to do everything else we need to do. Yeah, so, so that's just got dumped somewhere for yeah, now. We've jumped straight into the Skoda. The plan is head straight to Brooklyn, to Mercedes, to go and rescue the sea. Then from there, we've had to make a phone call to we have. Topaz and we said, is there any chance you guys could very kindly go over to Ferrari, which obviously is in the same industrial state, rescue the SF90, take it to your place and we'll collect it from you a little bit later than Ferrari are open to place it. Yeah, because the guys at Topaz, I mean, they are absolute legends and they don't stop working. So chances are they will be there till, till we arrive. Hopefully anyway. So yeah, here's a plan of get to Mercedes, get the C, drive to Topaz, 
get the SF90, leave the C there, yep. SF90 home to the barn, yep. back to Topaz, yep. get the C, take that back to the museum, and then park the cars up, maybe get food. Nando's, maybe? Chicken Nando's, yeah, yeah I'm, maybe. I'm down for that. I've and not then, eaten today. So. Yeah, there is that, and then go home and call it a night, because yep. at this point, I don't know what time it's going to be when we finish, but... No, I think under normal circumstances, we would have stopped for food on the way back from JZM with the GT500. However, given that we have currently an hour and 30 minutes to do two hours and 14 minutes of driving, that doesn't really compute. Yeah, so I guess we better get cracking, hope there's no traffic within 25, and we'll see you at Mercedes. We've made it to Brooklands, and here comes the C63 Black Series. Listen to that. Still kind of on cold start. Pop it next to the Skoda, I guess, for now, out of the way. Very nice A35 here. Yeah, ready to get on the road, straight to Topaz to get the SF90. We've finally made it to Topaz. It's actually just gone past seven o'clock at night. We've got the Skoda, the SF90, that's very kindly been parked there for us. We've just popped the C, and GT from Topaz has picked up a brand new car, a 718 Cayman GT4, which is so cool. I think we're gonna get a quick cold start if I come around the back. What a cool car to pick up. Oh, there we go. That does sound good. You can't hear Tom, he's got no mic on, but sounds very, very good. Congrats to GT, first of all. But the plan is now, leave this here, jump into this and this, these two. You got a key? Tom's got a key. Head back to this museum. I think via food. There we go. Via food. Then come back, get into this, and take, yeah. We need to get things back to the barn, parked up and go to bed. But yeah, congrats GT. Thank you, GT and Topaz, for arranging this to be put here for us. Let's get on the road. Time for an SF90 cold start. And yes, I know what you're probably thinking. It can start in hybrid, and it could, and it probably is going to, but I want some noise. There we go, the noise we wanted. And then for me, it's jump into the VRS, get back into the warmth because it's freezing out, and head back towards the base. Stop number one, done. Ooh. That sounds good. Stop one done, we're back at the barn with this. It's being left there because we've got food that's about to be delivered right now. So we need to go grab that, eat it, and then get back into Skoda and go back. We were going to show you Wembley Arch because it's all lit up and pretty, and it was over there and we missed it. Yeah, somewhere so, in yeah. that general direction. It's fine. Um, so we oh, are now well. back on the North Circular. We are. We Heading are. back to Topaz, yep. where hopefully the C63 is waiting for us, where we parked it. Hopefully no one's took it. Yeah, it'd be a fun car to... No, let's not go into that. Um, yeah, we've had Nando's, which was great. Yeah. We needed that. Didn't entirely go as planned, but we've had Nando's. No, let's say we maybe tried to go to one of the branches and it turns out it's shut. So we just sorted it and went back. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're almost back at Topaz. Five minutes to go. We will join you when we're there for... A cold start of the sea. Yeah, because that will be cold again by now and make lovely, rumbly, yeah. noisy V8s. Four degrees outside. I actually saying six right now, but we did have a thing on the dash ping up and say it's four, so yeah. It's, it's cold. cold is all I know. It's cold. We're back at Topaz with the C63. Yeah, we made it. Good. Tom did have a mic on, we just turned it off. Ready to... <laughs> ah, cold start. Oh, it wasn't actually very... It wasn't cold at all. Quiet start. <laughs> Not bad. So yeah, back in Skoda back into C63 and then off we go to this museum. It's bedtime, let's go. Final car to join the lineup for today. C63 Black Series back at this museum, which means noise. What's noisier though? This, the GC5, what am I pointing? The GC500, the SLS or the GC8? We'll have to figure out one day. Time for parking mania. We begin with the SF90. So in three, two, one, this shall be parked. Three, two, one, parked. Next up, GC500 and lovely stuff. But now you've got to go get in and move it. So let's do that back underneath the focus. Okay, and this one in three, two, one, parked. Next up, SLS Black Series, which means quick cold start on this one. C63 going up. Three, two, one, parked. Tom, where are you going? Because that's definitely not to the lift. It's not, is it? Um, I've decided I'm taking this one home. It's been a long time since anyone's driven this. 
It needs a drive. I want to drive it. I have to get home. It, it, it all kind of adds up, right? All right, C's all parked up. SLS ready to go. GT500 now with its brand new tires. Thanks to the guys at JZM for fitting that one. Once again, if you guys have any specialist wheel needs where you're a little bit concerned, do give them a shout because they will be able to help you out as they have done with that. And yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed coming along on a day, getting that sorted and recovering the other two cars, which under normal circumstances wouldn't have been overly difficult. But today, yeah, that went a little bit wrong. But huge thank you to the guys at Topaz once again for collecting the SF90 so that we could go and get that sorted and then looking after the sea whilst we did all the swapping around. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed coming along on what's been a bit of a crazy day. But for now, it's bedtime. Until next time.